Hi and welcome back to the third episode in our equipment system series on Unreal Engine 4. In this series we're going to make an equipment system similar to what we see in RPGs. Last time um, we got this running with our character sheet so we can push the C key to display our character sheet with a 3D widget in the middle and our stats displayed beneath. So what we're going to do today is do some prep work for our armor and equipment slots so we can make the slots that appear down the left hand side here and prepare ourselves for making armor in the future so for this I'm going to make a new folder and we'll call it data but you can call it literally whatever you like and in here we're going to first of all make some enumerations so enumeration if you haven't seen my enumeration video please check it out uh, you can learn a bit more about it in detail there but enumeration essentially is a list, okay? And you'll find it, uh, add new, blueprints, enumeration. And I'm going to name this one, um, armor type. And I'll make another one. And this one's going to be rarity. So let's open up our rarity one first. So as I said, enumerators are just a list and we can add to this list by clicking on the new button. So click new and the first one I'm going to call common, new again, uncommon, then rare and then epic. But you can add whatever you like onto that list. Click save and close that. Now open up your armor type. So similar practice, we're going to add to our list here. We're going to call this one head, shoulders, chest, uh, hands, legs, and finally feet okay uh, again you can add as many of these as you like onto your list you can tweak this to suit your own needs click save when you're done with that and now close the enumerator so we've got these two lists and we're now going to incorporate them into a data structure so go to add new blueprints and you'll see structure and here i'm going to type in armor uh, data open this up so a data structure is a collection of variables that we can sort of group together okay so in this case we're going to store all the different variables that our armor pieces could have so the first one we're going to have is going to be item id actually let's go armor id and that's going to be an integer click on new variable the next one we're going to have is the name and that will be a piece of text new variable here this one's going to be the armor type and on the drop down we want to type in that enumerator that we've done for our armor type so choose that from the list and you can now add that to your data structure. I'm going to keep on going. So the next one we're going to be is rarity. And similarly, type in rarity, and it'll come up like so. New again. And now I'm going to start putting some stats on it. So my armor pieces are going to have strength as a possibility. And that's going to be a float. Stamina. Again, a float. Intellect. And agility. And it may be the case that my armor pieces and or my uh, weapons, whatever, may also add health and mana. So let's add that to it too. Mana. And health and mana will be integers because they're going to be integers everywhere else. Okay, 
So basically you build up your data structure with whatever information you want to have about your uh, armor. So if you want to do some flavor text, you can add a flavor text as available uh, here if you like. Um, totally up to you how you lay this out. But for now, this is going to do for me. I'm going to click save and close that. Okay, so now we've got our data structure up. Um, the way it will work when we get to it, uh, probably be in the next video, is that we'll have a Excel spreadsheet uh, or what is actually known as a comma separated values sheet. Uh, we're going to have a sort of table and database of all the armor pieces that are in the game. And we fill out all the data and when we spawn armor pieces or want to equip armor pieces, we simply have a lookup table to look up what values they have. So that's how that's going to uh, fall into play later on. So let's move on to creating the armor slots for a user interface. So in my user interface folder, where I have my other uh, UI elements, I'll make a new widget, and this is going to be called armor slot. So in my armor slot, I don't want the canvas panel because I want uh, I don't want absolute positioning. Okay, mine's going to be relative based to where I place it. So I'm going to first of all put in a size box. And the size box is going to have a width and a height of 100 pixels. Okay. Inside my size box, I'm going to have a border. And a border panel simply just adds a background color to it. And this border is going to have a padding of 5. And the brush color, I'm going to put a little bit gray like so. So I want to see what it's going to look like properly in my viewport. So just go where it says fill screen, choose a drop down and change it to desired. And there you get the actual size and proportions of what you're actually trying to make. And the last thing we'll have in here will be image. And now hold the thumbnail of the uh, armor piece. Okay. So that would be there and we leave padding as it is for now. Click compile and we can now close this. So let's go about adding this to the character sheet. So open up your character sheet. You should have a screen like so. And we're going to have the armor slots go down the left hand column here. Okay. So click on that column there, which is this one for me. And if you go into the palette and go user created, you'll see armor slot is there. Simply drag one into the vertical box click on it and we're going to change some settings here because it auto makes it well for me at least makes it auto align to fill which I don't want I want it to be centered in horizontal if I can go vertical alignment too as well but it doesn't actually do anything because we're in a vertical box instead of a horizontal one so it doesn't matter too much so with one in there I want to change the padding here to five so I've got a little bit of gap at the top there like so um, but you can change that to whatever you like. With the first one there, I'm going to click on it in this hierarchy. Right click, copy. And in my vertical box, right click, paste. And I can paste all six I need. So that's five, and there's my six. Now to make things easier for myself, I'm going to name these. So this is going to be the head slot. This one is going to be the shoulder slot chest slot L uh, hands slot legs slot and finally feet slot okay and that's going to do it for our armor slots here on this side of things, we're going to have a weapon. Okay, so the weapon data, we can have whatever you like. Um, so I'm going to quickly do that now. So let's go back to my data here. So we've got armor. So let's go in and do our weapon. So first of all, I'm going to do is make an enumerator for my weapon type. Okay, so I'm going to go add new blueprints enumeration and call it weapon type. And here I could do uh, it depends on your game. You could have uh, you could put in here swords or axes or pole arms, maces, wands, staffs, 
whatever you really like uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put it in uh, one handed sword actually no we won't do that we'll go sword axe um uh, what did i say uh staff and one more uh let's do do, 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 do a pole arm oh no we'll do a bow okay soiled axe staff and bow click save and close your weapon type so we've got weapon type as now as an enumerator so now we're going to do a data structure for our weapons so we're going to go add new blueprints structure weapon data and in here we're going to similarly have an id number weapon id which is going to be an integer new verbal weapon type and that's going to be that weapon type enumerator we just made the next one is going to be a name and it's going to be a text field um, and you can do it one handed two handed if that's the case you can have an extra one here or an extra enumerator to choose one handed two handed weapons or, or off hand or whatever you like so you do it whatever you like but I'm going to keep it quite simple here so people can uh, pick and choose what they want to do and if you have anything specific you want to know how to do just drop us a comment below in the uh, of the video or if you've joined my patreon in discord be probably the easiest way of contacting me so what else i need on here i need my uh, damage per second so let's go damage it deals to a float and in here i'll put speed as well and that'll be a float so what we'll do on the tooltip of the weapon we'll work out damage per second using these two values okay okay that'll do i think i don't think oh rarity we want another rarity one let's do rarity and we can use exactly the same one we used previously that's just totally fine click save and that should do it close that and now you have weapon data so we're going to do exactly what we've done again but this time make a weapon slot so we can actually duplicate this so duplicate and call it weapon slot and there's nothing we need to really change here um, we'll be doing different stuff with these later on but for now that'd be exactly the same on the character sheet we're now going to put these two over here and you'll find it again in a user created so I'm gonna scroll down and drag a weapon slot there choose the horizontal line center I'm gonna give it a padding of five uh, and you may want to actually make it more centered if you like or wherever um, you can do it simply by increasing the padding if you like or you can use more different panels if you want to use that but for now I'm gonna leave that as is okay and I want to drag a second weapon slot in there actually let's just copy and paste that one copy paste and I'm gonna name this one offhand weapon okay and I'll do this one as primary weapon cool okay so that's what else you can do so I um, mean you can do other things as well you can do things like um, like runes and attachments things like that anything you like okay so it's exactly the same system there's no real difference to it um, you just make different slots for different things uh, that you're gonna have but I'm gonna keep this quite basic and quite simple uh, hopefully you'll be able to figure out how to add the th specific things that you want to add to it um, and that will do for this video in the next video we'll start looking at making some armor pieces and putting some armor data in here so we can uh, select new armor pieces and put them into the slots um, but that will do for this video if you like this video and watch the next part right now you can do over on patreon uh, where my subscribers can get access to videos nice and early and uh, have access to many other benefits too if you want to support me and all you have to do is uh, head over to patreon just like these people have and support me over there otherwise i'll see you next time and uh, thanks for watching bye bye